Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's video, and in today's video, I would like to show you a quick, uh, yeah, placement limitation or placement restriction so that you're only able to place a certain amount of towers that's the topic for today's video and yeah so let's get started with it by going inside of our storage gui then this tower gui and then out of this monitor script and i just want to see wait 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 no never mind this let's just go inside of the tower script directly and as you can see it says place right here. We could now do the following. So we could um yeah, check if script find first child layer that name. Then no oh wait, if not then we are going to create one. So I'm I'm going to explain this in a bit. So what all this is about. Okay. Okay, so that's actually it. So that's all you had to do. I'm going to explain this now. So there are also some things we got to add. But let me just first of all explain this. So the idea behind of this is that we are adding a an integer value inside of this tower script, which uh, has the same name as our player, therefore can be identified as our property, let's say. And this int value just yeah, saves how much towers you have already placed. And you gotta imagine that you start off right here, okay? You just place your first tower. And of course, there is no entry with your name, so no int value with your name inside of the script. That's basically the check right here. So if there is no int value or any other instance, but we are, we are only going to place int values inside of here with your name, then we are creating an int value inside of the script which has the same name as our player and which has uh, the value one as default because you're placing your first tower, okay? So you're, you're not able to place uh, two towers at the same time. Therefore, um, x dot value equals one. Okay, so if this is not the case, let's say that you, you have an int value inside of here, then this case happens, then we just increase the value of your int value by one. Okay, means you, we are increasing the amount of towers you have placed. And up, no, down here, you can already see that we are checking for another time. So if the amount of towers you have placed is not greater than 10, then you're able to place. Means 10 is the limit. So you can change this to 20, to 5, whatsoever. So this determines your limit at the end. Let, let me add this equals, otherwise you would only be able to place uh, 9 towers. So now you're able to place 10 towers, so change this as you like. And now one more thing we need to consider is that you can sell your towers, okay? So if you sell your tower, then you basically just remove it. And therefore we need to yeah, change that as well. So let's just copy this and let's make this minus 1. Okay, that's it. Let's test this out. Let's see if it works. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, we're not able to place this one. We're not able to place the last one. And there we go. 
that's the win adding a power limitation thanks for watching leave a like subscribe share this video with all of your friends take care and see you in the next video